Like many events, the 32nd annual Wagon Construction Scan Duck Race is going virtual. CEO Dee Sandrowski is here to join me to talk about how this is going to work for Scan this year. So, what are the biggest differences that people are going to see? Well, one, we are not doing an in-person event this year, which is really um, disappointing to all of us because that's been one of our biggest fun family events that we do um, to really wrap support around children um, and families. And so it will actually be all virtual, not in person um, on August 30th. And we're really still just working out the details. You know, like everything else, we're shifting and being resilient. And the ducks, they're not swimming. They're not swimming. <laughs> <laughs> So how will the raffle work then? Well, I think what we'll do is we're continuing to sell all of our raffle tickets. Um, and what we'll do is we'll pull um, the tickets um, from a raffle kind of been um, very much similar to like a bingo or something associated with that. Um, and then, you know, pull our winners from there. So. So this is the 32nd year for it. Yes. This is obviously the first for a virtual <laughs> duck race. <laughs> yes. But how have you seen it grow and change over the years that oh, you've been with SCAN? You know, it has been just a phenomenal partnership with the Wygan family, and we are so grateful to have them um, continuing to just support us in all of our efforts to protect children and prepare parents. You know, that's our mission, um, really, to make sure that we are wrapping support around children in healthy communities and creating them. Um, but it has grown exponentially over the years. Um, and so this was going to be our first year ever, our debut at Promenade Park. Um, and so we'll, we'll hold that off to next year on June 12th. Um, but it has, I mean, we've, we've gotten so much support. It started out um, very little. And we're putting almost 17,000 ducks in the river every year. Except for this year, unfortunately. Except for this but year. But <laughs> you still have a fundraising goal in mind. And what is Absolutely. that? Absolutely. So we're still really working to raise about $185,000. Um, and we're, you know, we're moving. I think the community has wrapped so much support around us um, and our cause and what we're doing. And so, you know, you can still purchase your ducks. We just do it online, over the phone, or, you know, via mail. You just go to scanduckrace.org and just continue to support us. I mean, we've seen a tremendous amount. So the support hasn't gone away, um, but the ducks won't swim this year. <laughs> and specifically, where do the funds go rate where are the funds raised go towards scan? right good question and um, they actually go back directly to children and families and all the services that we provide so um, about 97 cents to every dollar that's donated to scan goes right back into supporting children and families and, you know scan has a continuum of services so from prevention to intervention to community education to really making sure that children are protected and families have the resources that they need um, and so all that money really goes right back into those services in which we provide for them Dee, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll check back in with you in a couple weeks to see how the fundraising is going. Absolutely. The virtual scan duck race is Sunday, August 30th. The event will be on Scan's Facebook page. Duck tickets are on sale now. More information is available at scanfw.org, and we'll have a link to duck ticket raffles as well.